Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, and I'm here at El at Long Beach Convention Center for Collecta Collecticon Day Two. And this time, no long long this time. Oh, it's a good thing. It was such an ordeal with so many people coming here. So all that's left is just going through these metal detectors. Hi, Hi. No thanks, ladies. Not interested in Pokemon. Love the sh love the anime, but not the train cards. I prefer Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, speaking of Yukio, you know, I brought my own, my, my own deck. Deck. It's, it's an Amazonist deck. Much wiser, this will make me wider. Maybe learn a little bit faster. In the world, girl. Who run this mother? Who run this mother? Who run this? You know, when, no, basically the same deck that my Valentine time used. I kind of like them. I was think I was thinking if there are any players that wants to play play some Yuki, I could just bring my deck just in case. And so far yesterday, there weren't any players, just collectors. That's all. Shang, but I still have my deck with me. I just brought it along just in case if I want to play. And. And if they are, I, I'm definitely recording it here on YouTube. Okay, time, time for me to get in line for the metal detectors. Okay guys, I passed through the metal detectors, so I'm going in. Thanks. Your codes, guys. You need to get back. Have your code, please. Wait, what was that? I said, have your code. Oh, you mean? Oh, you're good to go. Oh, um, how did I not miss this? They had these, and they had trays. Are they? Let's see. Lemonade seven dollars, kettle corn eight, pretzels six, churro six, peanuts. Oh, so expensive these days. Well, well, it's time for me to come come downstairs. Yeah, shall we? So, according to today, they 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 will have some panels panels this panels this day. Oh. Morning, morning. Oh, morning. Um, where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? Uh, the closest one, the morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, and good morning, is up there behind that blue wall. It's up there behind. That's the closest one. Oh. And I just got up here. And I just got up here. Oh well. This will take a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. You know, let me take this off. So, sorry about that. Oh yeah, as you can see, I got, my, got myself a new mask. Mask from Pokemon. This is Squirrel. Squirrel was always one of my favorite ones. Okay. Oh my god, check this out. 
amazing. Oh, it would be better if they had a co cosplay contest. So let's let's see. Um, looks like Sarah, not Chichani, and Chumley are not here. Here, yeah, um, oh, there's Jason. Hi. Oh, hey, he's here today. Yeah, I know. He's here. Oh, I'm on camera? What's mm -hmm. up, world? What's up, world star? Okay guys, I didn't get a chance to get Eric Stewart's autograph. I mean, of all the play, of all the, I do believe at first I didn't want his autograph, but why not? It is eating me alive, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get his. Besides, this, this, Long is so long, long like last time, so I should definitely stay. And, and it's a good thing because Jason Page is gonna perform again, again around, around 11.30, and so far it's 10.42, which gives me plenty of time. So, because the flag is long, I, I should pause this, so I'll see you, see you again in a bit. So guys, guess what? I'm at the front of the line. After, after this girl, I'm next. Oh, uh, yeah, here's Eric Stewart. Stewart, the, the actor who played Play the voices of Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh, James, Rock, and Squirrel from Pokemon. Oh, and he also plays plays Meta Knight in Kirby. Well, I didn't know that. And here are his pictures. Oh, here's one for for Butch. I didn't know he played Butch. Oh, uh, let's see. What else did he have? I'll take the combo. All right. So I'll take this one. Right. I always do love this movie. It'll but I be wish I had. Eighty dollars. Yes. Yes, I know. Here it is. Your total after tax is eighty-eight. Hi, Eric. Hey, how are you? I gotta say, you. Are you filming? Wait. Let me guess. I'm not allowed to. Okay guys, I finally got my autograph from Eric Stewart and I have 13 minutes until Jason's, Jason's second performance. 
Um, so I want to look around for a bit. So yeah, here's Austin St. John and Walter Jones again. The only two Power Rangers here. I, I really do like Austin. Austin, he was awesome though. Uh, he is the best. Oh, listen. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, let's move on. You know, I haven't visited these other booths. But excuse me, guys. There's Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Saucy. I'm so glad I got hers. Let's check the others. Uh, we got Roger Craig Smith. So, we, so here we got Rico. Man, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Let's move on. So here we have Sean Shamil, you know, who played Goku in Dragon Ball. Oh, where is he? Um, yeah, there he is. It's the one, the one in front of the guy with the sweater. Excuse me. Thank you. Whoa, another, another snake line. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, look who, look who we have. We have Lauren Landa. Landa. You might know her as as Annie, or should I say, the female Titan from. Attack on Titan, Sailor Neptune, and Merlin from Seven, Seven Deadly Sins. I saw your video yesterday. Oh wait, did you comp? Are you the one that commented? I didn't comment. I did like. I didn't comment on it though. Oh, I'll comment on it today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm also recording the. Recording this one as well, so you better comment, comment it too. Wait, are you doing it right now? Oh no, no, I was looking at the thing. Sorry. Hmm? Nice, nice makeup, by the way. Who, who are you supposed to be? Aaron. Huh? Aaron Yeager. Aaron. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. From, from Attack on Titan yeah, as well. So, oh yeah, speaking of Aaron, here we got Bryce ha Happenbro. Oh. oh, I think this woman agreed with me, me about getting her getting his name right. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, and here's and here's Lauren. I am so glad I, I'm, I'm doing this because I didn't get a chance to see, to see the other celebs yesterday. So, oh, let's go over here. Oh, my God, look. My God, this area is packed. No wonder why I didn't go any further. So yeah, over here we got Chris, Christina V. You might know her from Ladybug, from Miraculous, and and Sailor Mars. Oh. 
these lines are long as these lines are long as hell. Jesus Christ. Excuse me, excuse me. My God. Oh. Your line is way back here. Oh, no, just, no, just looking. Oh my God, I can't believe this is this. Yeah, look at her pictures. Um, I'm not sure if it will be here. Oh yeah, she things. played Jay in, yeah. in Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. yeah, I would say maybe over like four to five. I'm just like, I know. Right. Oh, they don't have one for Cinemars. <laughs> Forget it. So. Not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, sorry, this isn't the The line isn't back here. Oh. For them. Oh, I'm just... I'm just... Look, I'm just looking. I'm just... But I had to keep all of this for my people who are in line to get their autographs and we can't have any videoing or like live streaming. <laughs> So she's basically well, well, guys, you hear, you hear the woman, and it's a pity. I, I just wanted to take a closer look at them. That's all. This is so unfair. I would, I would go over and get one of their autographs, but damn. Still, like I said, these lines though, such a pain in the ass. Okay, I should go, I should move on. Uh, let's see what they have. Well, I haven't been to this one. Ooh, great back, nice backpack. Ooh, how much are they? Well, this one's like. Should have bought. I will. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, now I get it, I put my... Ooh! Oh, look at these cars! Both from Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh shoot! It's four minutes, it's four minutes to Jason Page performance. I better get going. I was, look, I was looking for some more Yu-Gi-Oh post booster boxes. But no, 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 I don't want to get my stuff so ahead. Oh, great. It's a, it's a lot. It's just, ooh. There's... Oh. That's better. Got him. Ooh, there's the turtles.
check this out. Oh, oh. Wait, all of y'all? <laughs> well, I'm looking for some. Picture or video? Because I want to track down the track. Actually, it's both. Both. I took a picture and and still recording you. <laughs> okay. Well that, well, that was so funny, yet very entertaining. Thanks a lot, guys. I gotta say, it was amazing, though. This is exactly what I need mean before Jason Page's performance. <sighs> okay, I... Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Pause this, so don't worry. Hello, Collecticon. How you guys doing? Guys, before I start, I have uh, I have a little bit of news that I need to announce to the Collecticon people. We have a uh, we had a, a sudden loss of a very special gentleman last night, Mike Fernandez, who is the creator of Titan TCG. You guys can go check out the Titan TCG. He was an amazing person, and. Uh, we are all very stunned and sad to have lost him unexpectedly last night. Uh, but this is a, a friend of mine and somebody who contributed to the community in an amazing way. And it is just a sign that we all have to be totally and wholly committed to the moments that we're living right now because we do not know what the future may bring and we have the miracle of our bodies and our lives and our minds right now to experience the emotional intensity of our experience here at Collecticon right now to feel the greatness of our experience and earth and love and light and Pokemon and this experience right now with Jason Page up on the stage honoring Mike Fernandez with the Pokemon Go theme song. So everybody can sing along and have an amazing time here at Collect the Crowd Make Some Noise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Go! I want you to sing along to Mike! Take it off the power
you guys for making that noise for Mike. We really appreciate it. His mom is here as well. Thank you, Mama, for making Mike and making our lives better because Mike was here. Yes, you got it. We got the Jason Page trainer cards coming out the people right here. Woo, in the back there. Get y'all in the back. Hold on, I got, I got flinging abilities. All the way to the back. Card specialists. Woo! Ninja card flying. Are you guys ready for the OG? You see, I got no background singers up here, so that's you guys, my background singers. I just turn around like that, and you're my background singers. All right, let's do it. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. The train to miss. so much. I love you all. We'll see you at the next Collector Con, where I'll see you right over there in my booth in a few minutes. Thank you guys. Love you.
parents here on the stage, we want you to get in as tight as possible, and kids in the front, if possible. So if there are kids that are up here that want to be in the photo, we're going to have you in the front, and we're going to take a step back from the barrier. And everyone who's here that wants to, come in as close as you want, and we're going to be right here, and you're going to look at Megan. Everyone give Megan a wave right here. She has the camera. Yeah. And then so, everyone on the right side, come in. Everyone on the left side that wants to be in the photo, come in. And everyone who's in the front. So everyone, we're going to take one step right back. I've done weddings, so I know how to do these group photo things. <laughs> everyone who wants to be over here. Oh, hey. Everyone who's over here, come in. I like, the, I like that. All right, everyone over here who wants to come in. This is cool. This is cool. All right, so we're going to do two things. We're going to do one, two, three, Collecticon. You're going to look right there at the photo. Then we're going to do one, two, three, Collecticon again, but the... Second time it's going to be video, and you're going to wave your arms and be all excited and everything. Okay? And I love the I love the evolutions right there. Okay? You guys ready? I mean, thumbs up, everyone. Awesome. Okay. All right. Ready? Big smiles. One, two, three. Click. You get it? We're switching to video. Pause. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. We're switching to video right now. Hold on. Hold on. Are you guys honestly having a a good time? I just need to know. Yes. This is, I've been, I've been at every single one. Oh, okay. Okay, one second. Oh, use my camera right there. Switch lenses right there and use that one. So I'll talk to you guys. I've been to every single one, and I'm not just saying this because I'm here in Long Beach and you're in front of me, I promise. This is the like, craziest cosplay I've seen. We, this is the most amount from today and yesterday, and I haven't seen just, you guys came out in first. It was really cool. So, Props to everyone, honestly. This is really, really neat, and I love this guy right here. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I've watched the show. How do you pronounce it? And no, and, and no, I gotta talk to Bryce at 2 o'clock anyway, so I need to know that too. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Okay, we'll tell me when you're ready. Okay, guys, we're gonna do the video clip. So this is the craziest that you can be. Ready, arms ready. waving as safe as possible and as excited as you can be. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and we're gonna go crazy, okay? All right, everybody, one, two, three. All right, thank you guys so much. And again, for all of you who are here, if you're gonna be at the panels, we're gonna be starting at noon. Oh, it's oh, we're gonna, oh, I guess they wanna do one more. Sorry, guys. One more, one more real quick, and then I'll give you the announcement. You good? Okay, ready? We're gonna say one, two, three, and then you're gonna scream Collecticon. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Very nice. All right, we are starting panels here very shortly at noon. They're getting set up and everything. And at the end of the panel, if you guys are here, I'm gonna be doing the last one. There is a surprise, so I'll leave it at that. And you guys go have fun, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.
<laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna get some lunch lunch here because the last time I was here this line was long as long as hell. So just like just like getting your art just like the autograph line. So I wanna be here as soon as I can, okay? Here's the first panel. I am one of your three. Oh, there's Austin. Let's yeah. give a round of applause for Austin St. John. Yeah. Red Power Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am one of your three hosts for today. I'm not Shivam. After this, we have, uh, we have Dr. Applesauce, and we also have Goat Breakers. So those are, we, we are your three hosts for today. And um, yeah, we're about to start off with the Power Rangers. So let's go ahead and get right into it. There's a big crowd. Let's go ahead and shout, Go, Go, Power Rangers, one more time. And let's get it amped up. So on three, Go, Go, Power Rangers. One, two, three. Go, Go, Power Rangers! Let's get it. Let's get it. I hope we don't add. All right, let's go ahead and get a round of applause for Walter Jones, the Black Power Ranger. Oh, that's it. Second, second degree black belt. Second. Under C. Taigong Grandmaster Wilson, who teaches Sigong Robinson. 
So Sigurd Robinson and Pai Long Tao, which is Chinese Kung Fu and Kenpo, just gave me my second out. Wow! Second. second second degree bathroom. That is tough, I'm saying. Dude, I don't, don't I don't want the smoke. I didn't stay away. You don't want the smoke. I don't want the smoke. So what was the when you guys were on the show on Power Rangers, because you guys were on there for quite a bit, and I know that you guys had a good time on there. What was, what would you say is the coolest stunt that you would have to do? Uh, you know what, I, I did a stunt that it was, I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, but you can't see it that well. It's like, when, it, when you watch it on TV, you don't realize what I did. But I, I was, we were in the park, there was a swing set. And you know, this is the swing with the two chains and the swing. So there's a putty on one side of the swing. I'm being chased by a putty. I run, I dive. take two. There was no oops you screwed up, cut, start again, make it perfect. And they were going to put us on the smallest stage at uh, Universal. I think it held like 500 people. They're like, yeah, it'll be one show. Well, y'all went nuts. Y'all's parents went nuts. And they put us on the same stage that ACDC, Madonna, Aerosmith, Jeff Michael Jackson, like all the big dogs performed on. We filled up that stadium five times in one day. And the stunt that I set up, because I walked in and I'm watching all the other guys, you know, and they were doing their martial arts on the main stage, and they were doing all their jam, and like, and they were kicking butt and taking names, it looked great. I was like, alright, well, I don't want to come out and just do another kata on the stage, like, what am I going to do? And I saw this great big tower on the Universal stage lot, and it was, I don't know, 20, 30 feet, it was, it looked like 100 when I got on top, but it was probably like 20, 30 feet. And uh, I told the producers, I was like, I'm going to do a backflip off the top of that thing, down onto the stage, and then I'm going to, then I'll launch into my car. And uh, they were like, there's no take two, man. You break a leg, you're not doing the other shows. And I was like, I, I can do this. I got this. And he had never done it before. It's crazy. Oh, we, were, we were like, Austin, what are you doing? You, you've never done this. You can't, he's like, I got this. We're like, Austin, you've never done this. Don't do it. He's hard-handed. He did it. He killed it. I was like, all right, well, there you go. All right, Red Ranger. Let's go. Yeah, it was, it was just one of those things where, like, I was the leader. I had to, I had to get it right. And uh, the first one, actually, the world will never know. I well, actually, they do now because I've said it several times. But the very first one, I did this back layout, and they set up pyrotechnics. So I came up, and I was above the lights on the stage in a visor that was blacked out, so I had trouble seeing it. And then they slam me with a spotlight, and I walk up to the stage, and I turn around my back to the crowd, and my heels are backing up off the ledge, and I lay my hands out, and I go out for this back layout, and stretch it all the way down to the ground. But they blew up pyrotechnics. So the pyrotechnics hit the lens of my eyes after the spotlight, and I was blind as a bat. So I hit the stage, and on the very first one, I slightly over-rotated, and well, there was a crash pad. So I hit the crash pad, did a back roll, came up out of it, went straight into my kata, and um, nobody knew the difference. Everybody was like, yeah, it was great. I knew the difference. I was like, he almost was busted his butt. Yeah, he was right. He was right. It was like that close. And uh, the next the next three, four times we did it, I was I was yeah. fine. Yeah. But uh, that was wild. It was wild. Yeah. yeah. So what was the cool, you were going to redo your uh, oh, cause? Uh, I, oh, yeah. The, the, the stunt. The stunt. <laughs> I don't do chains. I keep the putty. But it went back into the swings. I guess it's gone. Right? It, was, it was a moment, it would Yeah, the, I mean, it still I'm works. It's, it's, I'm you were there. there. You were there. The feeling was still there. <laughs> sure. So, we, we see a lot of action packed stuff on the show. What was the bloopers like? So, like, I know that you guys have lines, I know that you guys go through things, I know that sometimes tapings can go through a while, and obviously, you said that you, if you 
you had one time, you had to land it once, you know? There are things that you guys would have to do and you can only do it one time and that's it, you know? So what was bloopers like with the cast of, with your other cast? With the other guys? Well, with yourself, the other guys, like, okay. yeah. I had, I had, I mean, I was 18. I was, I thought I was uh, much more capable than I was. And like, my heroes growing up, I grew up watching Chuck Norris and like Clint Eastwood. You know what I mean? Dirty Harry was like, come on, you make my, what was it? Make my day, make my day. Or, you know, huh? are you feeling lucky punk? I mean, all that, stuff. so Dirty Harry was mad. I had this one line, and God bless these guys, because I could not get my act straight. And it was in uh, the Pineapple and Clown episode, and we had to come running around in this back alley by a trash can, and I had Clint Eastwood in my mind. I couldn't be, I was trying to be Dirty Harry, and I was not at all, sorely under. And I come running around, I have this line, and it's, you know, you're going down, clown. That's what it's supposed to be. But I was coming around the car, I was like, you're going down, clown. You know, like I was trying to get my dirty hairy on, and the director was like, and cut. And back to one, and uh, awesome, awesome. Uh, hey, look, uh, you think you could, you could be a character? And, because I was brand new, I didn't know anything about acting, but uh, it was a lot of takes. And these guys, they kept running around, and I had that line. And I kept trying to be dirty, Harry, and I finally got my act straight, and they put up with it. But, he was uh, cracking up, man. He started cracking himself up. So eventually, he's like, he was saying the line, he's like, so he just started laughing. We're like, ah, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> By the last time we did it, they were not happy with me. They're like, come on, man. So it was, uh, yeah. There's that self-image, and then there's what you really are. So we also had a uh, like, as far as bloopers go, like. You know, there's like the beginning of the line, but then there's also, you know, after, in the middle of the day, we, we all eat lunch. And sometimes lunch affects your stomach in a certain kind of way. <laughs> and uh, sometimes Amy Jo would let one go in the middle of the scene. And we're like, Amy Jo! She would blow oh. it up. She would blow it up. Oh my God. <laughs> that was... That, that, that would cause a blooper because everybody's like, we're like, we're like looking at Zorna. Zorna. Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, those are some outtakes we need to find. Yeah. There was another one that, uh, you remember the ADR guys when they put together? Oh yeah. When you do ADR, you're on a mic, you're in a room, you're recording all this stuff, and you gotta, you know, you have different lines that you have to throw out so that it matches up with whatever's on screen. Usually the range of footage where we're doing all the, the dynamic moves and stuff. Well, every so often, each of us would screw up and say something maybe not very Power Ranger-like. And uh, other times we were having a bad day and maybe something not very Power Ranger like would come out. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, we learned a very valuable lesson because if you don't want it to be on camera or on mic, never ever say it. Don't assume the mic is off. So one day, I mean, I don't know how long it had been, six months, a year, they had been recording all of this. And they put together this audio clip of all of us saying not good things in a row so that it sounded like it came out of uh, like a dirty movie and they said and well, i walk in one day and they're like hey man you want to hear something funny i'm like yeah what and they put it on and it's all of us and i can tell it's just clips that they had stuck together and to make it like we had said and done this whole thing we had not said and done and it was not me <laughs> so, that was a blooper i learned i was like don't do that again no that's that's really funny um you guys talk about being Power Ranger-like, and oftentimes, you know, growing up and watching Power Rangers, there's a lot of life lessons that are taught within the show. There's a lot of virtues. Uh, uh, each character instills a lot of different aspects that people should be like. Um, tell us about how what your character has taught and inspired numerous amounts of people out there today to be Power Ranger-like. When, you, when you're out there and you're going out, out to all these different shows, when you're hitting every single Collecticon, and you're talking about being Power Ranger light, what is that What is that like in terms of inspiring people out there? Uh, you know what, it's, it's, uh, it's actually very humbling, like I said. I mean, um, the show's about to celebrate 30 years, uh, our 30 year anniversary, 30 years. That's crazy, because I'm only 29. I don't know how to work. But um, uh, it's, it's interesting, because like, when we first started the show, we met you guys, like, you guys were kids, so you were shy, or you were exuberant, you were like, Zach, you know, I guess, and I was really cute, man, our, our form and everything, but now, you guys are adults, and 
you guys come up to us and you give us stories about your life, about what you were going through when you were watching Rangers, or how we inspired you, or how we um, how we made a difference in your life, why you joined the Marine Corps, or how you opened up a karate studio, or how you were sick and it helped you get through the day. Like all of that stuff makes us feel like, wow, that was that was amazing. And and the fact that we were a positive influence is like it makes my heart happy. You know? Like you think a stone you throw in the water, it creates ripples, right? So we created ripples in 40 countries around the world for almost 30 years. That's three, three generations, three decades. And uh, every time somebody comes up to me and they tell me a story about how we positively affected their life, it makes my heart bigger, you know? So I am appreciative of all of our fans and I'm sure you are as well. And I want to applaud you guys. Yeah. You guys are Give yourselves a round of applause. I mean, really, really, I got to it's all of that and then some. You know, you guys have, have done some pretty incredible things. Think about all the, the, the guys that approach us talking about childhoods that were less than, than wonderful. You know, and how they got through it because they got strength from one of our characters or all of our characters. And, um, you know, they, or they stayed off the streets because of our characters or, you know, whatever, whatever the choice was, they, they give our characters the credit because they haven't yet found that it's it was really them that had to make those hard decisions and make the right choice. And uh, I mean, we may have inspired you guys, but really, you guys inspire us more than you know. Yeah, yeah the in the yeah. impact is definitely tre tremendous. I mean, the, the thing about it, like when we were, he was at 17, turned 18 when the show started. I was older, <laughs> and um, but the thing about it is, uh, we were. I think it inspired us to try to be the best that we could be as well. Um, yeah. Not that but we're all good people anyway, but uh, it's definitely um, having that responsibility to walk around the world and, and be positive. Uh, Maybe it's going to be more positive. Yeah, that's that's awesome. You know, I appreciate you guys taking the time to answer that. Let's go ahead and start doing some Q and A from you guys, the fans. Uh, let's go ahead and get that set up. Uh, while we get set up, let's go ahead and have a few people come up in line. So if you do have any questions, please stand up. Come on up, form a line. Okay, you guys. So far, I had an amazing time here at Connected Con, but I think it's best I should leave. But before I go, I want to have a little chat with my with my friend Austin St. John. Vegas, what's that say? Oh, I love the fuck. Yeah. Any chance? Hey, let's go by. <laughs> Oh, as usual, Walter, you are you have a taste. You have a good taste in music. Always. <laughs> Wait, you guys don't mind if I film, right? No. Oh, good. Oh, good. Cause Walter won't let me. Um, I just, I just want to say congratulations on your on that panel. You, you and Walter were all awesome. I, even though I wasn't there. There to ask questions. It's no big deal anyway. Alright. Okay. So how did um about signature do I want to say? Oh yeah. Oh oh there is one question. Um, are you looking forward to seeing are you looking forward to Cloud Morphicon this year? Oh yeah. Yeah, next weekend. It's gonna be crazy. Me too. I'll be there Thursday, Friday and maybe Sunday. Yeah I yeah, I heard that you're gonna be at day zero. Day zero, so. day one, yeah. Maybe day four. Uh, I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. I like those shades, man. Those were cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah. They're my fave. Oh, I think I should let you get busy with these guys first. Good talking with you, buddy. Okay, you too, Austin. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's about, that's about it. I, 
me head out. Okay guys, time for me to head out. I gotta say, this this collective this collector con was pretty pretty cool. I really do love love how it's in Long Beach. I mean, this is my first time coming here here without without my parents. I've been I've been here before for I've been here before but for but not with my parents here. Oh look! Oh look they have the laugh factory. I used to go there go there for my field trip in high school. I met some great comedians over there. Um what else? What else? <sighs> but yeah. I gotta admit this this is a beautiful place here. Oh I hope, I hope collect I hope Collecticon comes comes next year. I because uh, I would love to come back. <laughs> but then again, I would. Then again, I would still have some fun over at Paramorphicon. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see Austin and the others. I mean, so far I've seen so many many Power Ranger actors, and I do believe it's like a foreshadowing of coming to the convention. <laughs> okay guys, time for, time for me to wrap this up. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Peace.